Well, good evening, Bob and Kelly. You know, we've been asking for more details into this since Monday and even had viewers calling us wondering how this could all happen. And it's those kind of questions I took directly to the Kaysville Police Department. This has just been a very tragic event. Our whole department is heartbroken. The Kaysville Police Department is continuing to try and piece together how eight-year-old Macy Hill was killed during the town's 4th of July parade. Right now we're just investigating, um, looking into further information. We're trying to gather witness statements. Even more than 48 hours after this all took place, the department is not releasing much information or details. So I know a lot of people want to know how an eight-year-old girl gets run over during a parade. I mean, what can you tell the people that are just eager to know just how this happened. Yeah, I mean, I would say, you know, the, the family is just as eager to find out as well. So we just want to make sure that we have all the accurate information before we, we give anything out. I also spoke with Chris Bertram, who has 32 years of law enforcement experience as a former deputy chief with Unified Police and former chief with the Holiday Police Department. He says these kinds of complex investigations pose some challenges. One is it is a death, uh, traffic related death, a death of a child. Um, I think what complicates it more that it was a, you know, a, a parade situation where, you know, the dynamics of people moving around, kids coming into the roadway, kids marching in the roadway. Bertram says in cases involving traffic fatalities like this, he says a lot goes into accident reconstructions. It's something he says can take days, weeks, and even months to complete. As law enforcement agencies, they want to make sure that they get it right and they put the right information out. So we're not going back and correcting it later. A sentiment echoed by Officer Benson. And make sure that we have all the accurate information as well as the family wants to, to be able to know before everyone else does. This. So when could we get that accurate information and details into exactly how this happened? Officer Benson tells me they expect to be able to release that in the next several days. Now, she also wanted to reiterate just how heartbroken both the police department and this entire community is over this incident and how they're just trying to get through it the best they can right now. Live in Kaysville, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.